Hey everybody. So <clears throat> I've got Joe invited. He'll be here in just a minute. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about uh, 10 things that will bring you 100% respect. 10 things that will bring you 100% respect. So um, my name is Chris Hanks. More. So we are going to um, bring you guys a new live for today. If I can get my deal to go over there. There we go. So, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, man? Good. It's a nice day, right? It is. Nice shirt you got on. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. I like it. So, oh. <clears throat> um, Joe, before you came on, I was telling everybody what our... Um, I heard you. What our okay, so see, I don't know if you can hear me before you come online or not. I can't, I can hear you. That's why I usually say hi because you'll roll for a minute, 30 seconds, and then the go live button comes. Gotcha. All right, all right, so we're still learning. And um, I have a new toy that I'm not using today, but I'm real excited about because uh, Jeff just bought it for me, he bought me a tripod that'll hold my tripod. phone. Oh, that's cool. That'll be cool, right? Yeah, that will be cool. I'm going to get it and show it to you. Hang on. <clears throat> I haven't taken it out of the package yet. See? Oh, cool. Sweet. That's what it looks like. You're like right oh, now. I'm upside down. I've got my, um, I'm on top of a couple little books. And <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is pretty cool. What was the, what was the cost on this thing? Ten dollars. Ten bucks. And it's also a selfie stick. It comes with a remote, so you could take a picture. You can oh, set up the tripod and take a picture. For ten bucks. Ten bucks. What was it? Nine bin. Was it was in it? the nine ninety nine bin? No. No. Well, because they got it was a in the accessories. Is it accessories? Because yeah. you know what? It'll, it'll <clears throat> mm -hmm. they like four nine nine nine. You know what I mean? Just a bunch of those, like those pop things on the back of your phone. Mm -hmm. and earbuds. And things. Mm -hmm. I just wondered. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I think I'll play with it after. But, um, you know, today we're going to talk to folks about respect and why respect is so important. You know, um, <clears throat> we run into people all the time. You and I do, Joe. We've talked yeah. to them on a daily basis that we hear – People don't have enough respect for people they've worked with in the past. And the reason that they don't have a lot of that respect, yeah. The reason they don't have a lot of that respect is because they just, um, they they caught up with someone who uh, obviously doesn't have these 10 things we're going to talk about today, or a few of them. But <clears throat> moreover, you know, you got to give respect to get respect. And so, <clears throat> thank you. Um I think that when we talk about this, it will be blazingly obvious that the things that we respect in other people are yeah. what other people respect in us. <laughs> right. Which kind of ironic, right? Yeah. Kind of ironic. So while you're adjusting and you're you're getting yourself together, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tell everybody what the first thing we're gonna talk about is, and that's gonna be. Um, being prepared. Right. Why do you think that's so important, John? Oh, that's good to be. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's talk about being prepared on a on a larger level. Okay, let's say let's say you show up to a job interview. Okay? Or no, not even a job interview. You're just going to get an application. You know what I mean? This isn't even a big deal. This is a mm -hmm. student Going to Burger King, get an application, okay? Yeah. And you go, and they hand you an application. What do you need? What should you take? Two things. Two things you really, really need. A pen and a smile. Yeah. And really, it's a, you know, but take a pen. You'd be amazed how unprepared they are. Mm -hmm. Did you have, well, what if they decided to hire you on the spot and go, okay, well, let's get all your paperwork done. Let's get the Justice Department paperwork done. You're, you know, let's go ahead and get all your tax stuff, so license and a copy of your social security card. Well, I don't even know what my yeah. security card is. Well, that's a problem. 
That's a problem. How are we supposed to hire you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you know, you know that, that's something real. Just be prepared. I mean, and as far as that so earning the respect of somebody, because you go, hey, that person came prepared. You got a pen? No, no, I got a pen. I don't got one. Mm-hmm. It's fine. You know, these things, man. And, and you'll be far, you'll be shocked how far something that simple will get you. I, yeah. And, and it gets you recognized for sure. <clears throat> yeah. And everybody else got prepared before they got there, you know, waiting on you. So it's kind of rude not to be prepared, you know? Yeah. And, so, and, you know, I'm going to take it one step further and use you as an example. You had, um, you know, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, your appointment that we were all really excited about didn't work out quite the way that you had intended for it to work out. But that's neither here nor there. What I want to um, what I want to highlight is the fact that, you know, you were prepared in a in the event that everything went the way that it should have been. Also, you were prepared just in case there were glitches. And so, um, you know, what am I talking about? Well, a lot of companies that we're with, right, Cryptogenics included, a lot of companies that we're with actually have flip charts. They have PDF formats. They have all kinds of things that we can have. So Joe had one of the presentation flip charts um, on his person and in-house um, at the location in which he was going to be giving the presentation. Why did he do that? Why did he think about that? Well, because electronics have a funny way of when you need them to work, they will lock up and not work. <laughs> so, so he was prepared just in case the big screen didn't come on, right? Yeah, just in case, you know, something decided not to work or who knows, you know what I mean? Or what if what if I was carrying something up and down the stairs and dropped it? And right, it? right. Or, you know, you know, the tele the monitor goes out. Uh, uh, I got all this great information. You can't. See. You want to huddle around my my phone? No. <laughs> that's in, in a coffee shop. You know what I mean? You can go check this out. Then that's neat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Information right here. You want to see it? It's cool. Then. Yeah. It's not cool. Somebody somewhere to give them a professional presentation. You know, it's kind of the reason I shaved that day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember here. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, and, and okay, and we could take it even one step further because we're building on respect, right? We're building on being prepared. We can take it one step further. Um, you know, you and I, after the live that day, we were talking about, um, you know, how did you want this event to go? What did, what did you see it going like, right? Like, what was your plan? And so you said, you know, I, I maybe – um, maybe we can zoom you in, you know, I know that's your dinner time, but it might, might be a good thing to zoom you in. And I said, perfect. You know, I can zoom in. It's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> so I was prepared to come in after the presentation and yeah. do just a, a, an edification and, um, basically offer to answer any questions. And what I want most people to understand is usually what happens guys um, when you're up team or your business partners offer to do edification calls for you after a presentation and they offer to do that, uh, you know, a five minute question and answer thing. Most of the time, I'm going to say most of the time, 90 percent of the time, the entire time is spent edifying the person that just gave the presentation right. and uh, building that person up. Right. And then maybe a minute of this is who I am and why I'm here. And then you ask if there's any questions and almost always, no one will have any questions for the person zooming in. And the reason is because I don't have the relationship that Joe's had, he's just spent 30 minutes giving them a presentation and answering their questions through the presentation, right? So unless it's a corporate question or unless it's something that they feel like, um, <clears throat> unless it's something that they feel like they have, uh, uh, a real reason to ask me because they feel like I'm closer or you're up team because they feel like they're closer to the top maybe, um, or, or to the, you know, the foundation. So that being said, we had planned for that. I had showered and shaved for that. You know, like we were both clean shaven. We were well-dressed, had a, a collar shirt on, you know, um, just a professional look. So what I'm trying to say is, is there are different levels of being prepared. 
and you can take it all the way to the top. And that leads me into doing the extra. That's the next thing is doing the extra. And you've probably heard the old adage, Joe, I know you have, um, you know, there's no traffic jam on the extra mile. No, not at all. Well, extra mile, there's, yeah, there's nothing slowing you down. There's usually nothing in your way. You don't have to worry about that one. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. Oh, you know, <laughs> don't, don't take that extra step. Yep. Uh, and, and why, why is doing the extra so important? Do you think? I mean, like I've got an idea in my mind, but, um, you know, you you have a traditional business that you guys and I'm not putting your business out there, but you have a traditional business that you guys are constantly hiring and interviewing and stuff for. So as a business owner, maybe you could tell us why you feel uh, someone going a little extra is good. Basically. And let's just kind of get into this part of it here. If you're going to do something extra like that, if you're going to go that extra mile, continue to. Don't don't go to work. And don't try to impress your boss at work. Impress your boss with work. You know, you know, um, you know. A lot of times you get people. Oh, I want to do this. We're gonna do this, and, and blah blah blah. And you see them. You turn. You know, and they're doing extra clean or extra this or you know, and and you go, hey, all right, that extra is great. Oh man, all right, I got me a go getter here because everybody wants a go getter. You know, right. I mean? Want somebody that'll take because what that really does is they're taking some of that weight off of your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And you're going, okay, and you're going, hey, this person wants to do more, they want to do, so you see something in people. You know what, a lot of times in other people we, that a lot of times traits that we like in other people are things that we like ourselves or we will emulate them. Mm -hmm. you, know, so, hey, you know what, you're trying a little bit extra, so you know what, I'm gonna give a little more too. You know? Right. So, and even though it's mine and I don't actually have to, you know, that's why you're here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you'll still go next. You're like, okay, cool. You know, like listening to people's ideas and things like that. It's real simple, you know? Right. Um, but more times than not, that falls off, you know, off to a thing that you're like, okay, now wait a second. Just because you did so good and went that extra mile first, now you're like walking the path. Like, right. There. And we're rock walking right here. You were going way over here when I told you to stop here. That you know, so it's real weird. It's it, it you got to catch twenty two there. You know, yes, much, and you're going to be expected of that also. But well, at, <clears throat> that's good. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Long run, because you're going to grow from that. Right. You know, like if you got three or four people doing the same job, and one person keeps going better and better and better, and making sure everything's done. That person is going to end up being the boss, or that'll be right. the person. With, that's the person that keeps their job in the winter. They're showing. They're showing leadership. Yeah, they're showing leadership. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. They're showing leadership, and exactly. you know, doing the extra. Um, the big thing that comes to my mind about doing the extra, and and this is, you know, because I'm thinking, and and that's why I asked Joe to give us the real world feeling, and I'm going to give you guys more of a uh, um, of a. An, an, an internet feeling, but it, it's universal. But mm -hmm. you know, you won't you won't remember what people said, but you will always remember how they made you feel. And if you've ever noticed, when people do something extra, it makes you feel a certain way. So you're going to be memorable because you did the extra, right? You're going to mm -hmm. be memorable because they're going to remember you. They'll remember your name because of how you made them feel. They will forget you because you gave them a presentation. Okay, they will not know who you are. <laughs> well, you know, and that, that works here a lot. In my world of business, you know, people come in and I, I won't see them for a year. Mm -hmm. A lot of tourism, you know, and, uh, you know, they'll come in, Joe, you're still here. What are you doing? You know, you're going, hey, what's up? You know, when you talk to these people, you know, up there a lot, you know, and so you'd sit there and you'd be there, you know, two, three hours. You'd probably it's over that they're there, you know, that they're here in town visiting. And, you know, you, you end up talking about a lot of stuff, you know, so you really get to know people and they remember you, but they remember that extra, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you didn't have to sit here and talk to us. Like mine, mm -hmm. you didn't have to sit here and talk to me either. You know what I mean? But you made them feel good. Yeah. And, and the thing is, so I don't look at it like I'm talking to them to get them to come back. I, you know what I mean? That's not why I'm just talking to them because I like talking to people. You know, I talk to them if they were 
Right. If I was even, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. But mm-hmm. that's that comes into the real world too, you know, in brick and mortar world, you know. I'm trying Correct. to find this on And so <clears throat> that leads us to the third one, which is gonna be um, being on time. Mm-hmm. So we wanna be on time, right? Because right. If you tell someone, and, and on time is, is, is a really, that's a touchy one for me, especially, because um, if you guys have ever noticed, we never say, we will see you all at two o'clock. We have never said, we will be here at two o'clock. We say right. around two o'clock. We say two-ish. Uh, you know, if we, if we know, if one of us knows or both of us knows that we're not going to be available around that time because something happens with the dadpreneur stuff that we do or whatever the case may be, then we try to put up a message on Facebook and let people know that the live is going to be late. And notice if we ever do that, we don't normally say how late, we just say late. And the reason for that is because people judge you and, and they don't even really know that they're doing it, but people judge you by your promptness. And so, um, in the real world, uh, and that's the world that we all live in is the real world, by the way, whether it's online or offline, but in the real world, if something's supposed to be at two o'clock, you're supposed to be 10 minutes early. Okay. 10 minutes early is considered on time. If you want to be early, you better be 20 minutes early now. Okay. Because the way things happen in today's world is whoever you're meeting with, they've got you written down at a certain time. So they've scheduled out a block, okay? They've scheduled out this time frame that they want to meet with you and they want to talk with you. They didn't schedule out, you know, three hours. They scheduled out, if it's two o'clock, they scheduled out from probably three minutes or five minutes to two. They probably gave themselves a a minute to, you know, freshen up, brush their hair, you know, get a drink, whatever, go to the bathroom before they meet you, right? Um, Right. And that's why being on time is so important. If you make someone wait, that's it. It's no. done. <laughs> Are we streaming? Yes. Okay. I can't find this. We are. Okay. We we are. Okay. Uh, Albert's oh. on. Bethany's on. Uh, Angie's on. Kathy's on. Okay. Uh, Dane is on. Yeah, we're streaming. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like the old um, if you're 10 minutes early, you're already five minutes late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're going to move on to um, the next one, which I like is uh, being coachable. Being coachable. Why is that so important? Well, it's important because, you know, at the end of the day, none of us know everything we need to know about anything that we're going to do in our life, right? Like we all We all can learn. We can all take steps in the right direction to being coachable and teachable. So reflecting back over to Joe in in the example of, you know, his bar, it's in a it's in a very tourist location. Right, Joe? It's it's very transient. Am I right? Transient. Mm -hmm. And And so, yeah, it's all you. You probably spend a lot of time. You probably spend a lot of time with your new people helping them to get the right feeling when people come in, you know, Uh and the right feeling of how you want them to be treated so that they remember your place, you know, because it's not Joe's place. It's Henry's place. And so, you know, they can remember Joe's name all day long because he made them feel good. Right. But (laughs) there ain't no sign out front says Joe's. No, kind of says Joe. That's true. Um, it, you know, and what it is is, you know, the time we spend is it's that memorable experience that you're talking about. It's, hey, how you doing? Hello, how you doing? Mm-hmm. As soon as you'd be amazed how many customers that retains. The customer retention is incredible. I mean, it really, it, it just is. You know, mm-hmm. um. And people come in to have one and they end up sitting around talking, having fun and stay for three hours. Right. You know? Okay. And now it's not that we're sitting there getting people just hammered. It's not like that. You know what I mean? But it's more of a, 
it, it's a social gathering place, you know. And on, on the flip side of it, everybody's walking too. And like generally their hotel's real close. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say it's only a few it's only a few blocks there. <laughs> yeah, I've been yes. there. Yeah, yeah, you know. But um and so it's it, it's all that memorable experience and, and you need people that you can coach. You know, it's a lot of times, you know, I never would hire like bartenders that went to bartending school because they knew everything. And you're like, you don't know jack shit. You know, I'm, you know, you can pull up play. Nobody's ever gonna order. <laughs> you know, and that's about it. And you know, and it's not, it, it's not the person back there throwing stuff and all that. You know, which I can do that too. But it's not that person that gets people to come back. You know, it's can you talk? Can you say hi? hi? You know what I mean, guys? It's not hard to make a rum and coke. No. Rum. <laughs> Splash of coke. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <cool>. You know, <laughs> you'll learn yeah. right there. Exactly. Because you just went to Joe's Bar. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, so you need to move around. You know, I mean, that that will listen. You know, you have to be open minded to be coachable. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's about it. You know, it, it, it's hard to hire somebody that already knows everything. <sighs> yeah. It's hard to work with somebody that already knows everything. Yeah. I don't know everything. So that's going to take us into, um, we've, we've gone, just to recap really quick, we've mm -hmm. done uh, being prepared, doing extra, being on time, and we've done coachable, being coachable. So let's go into passion. Um, you know, passion is probably a key factor about anything, um, you know, if if you don't have passion for something, it, let me let me digress for a second. If you join a business or you open a business, uh, Miss Keen is on here. We're going to use her for an example. Aloha, Miss Keen. Um, yeah. If if you go open a restaurant, a fine dining establishment, because Kathy's got four of them and she's crazy successful and she's raking in the money. And she's sitting at home on her lanai, you know, doing what she wants to do, as opposed to being in the restaurant uh, with a whip, beating everybody, and then running from one to the next to the next to the next. If you do it just because of that, you will never be successful. No. Never be successful. You have to have a passion within yourself. Something has to light up. Something has to come alive within you about whatever it is you're going to do or whatever business it is that you're going to be in. Because if it doesn't, you're flat. You're just flatlined. And you'll never, ever get where you want to go. Am I right, Joe? That's right. That's absolutely right. Hey, I finally got thing. Um, that's If you're just doing it, you, know, you can't just be chasing the dollar. You know what I mean? You you may get a couple of them, but it's not going to work. You know, it, it's the same thing to why like, get-rich-quick things don't really work usually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And most of the get rich quick schemes that did work have already been done for the most part. I mean, you know what I mean? And the laws have already kind of leveled against them. Um, you have passion about, you know, so they ruined it for the rest of us. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Know? That's but it. I'm kind of kidding with that. But, you know, you have to have the, you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to have the passion for what you're doing. And you have to have some kind of enjoyment of it. You know, it would be like, going to school, becoming a psychologist, and hating to listen to people speak. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I hating like, listening to people's problems. Do that. You know, it's like, well, I didn't go to school for four years and spend $80,000 on an education and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but you opened a business where <laughs> same damn thing. Yep. They pay, but you pay more than what you'd pay for your rent every month for an office. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you don't like do this that's it's not the thing to do mm -mm. no i mean yeah it's you have to believe and have passion and that comes through you know you have to like what you do you know um like when i stepped out and quit actually bartending it was just a few years ago you know and it's because i got burnt out you know what i mean i was just like oh, i'm sick of this you know what i mean it's like oh, you know and it, it was just real obvious you know so i pulled myself back you know what I mean? I was like, okay, I need to stop doing this because it's not, I'm not at my best because I'm not enjoying what I'm doing right now. Now mm -hmm. I can just blah, blah, blah every now and then. You know, I, don't, I like filling in and stuff like that. 
I may fill in tonight for glory. I don't know. You know what I mean? But um, it's fun then. You know what I mean? But it wasn't – it had gotten to the point to where, no, I didn't have the, the passion to do it. Right. You know, up new drinks, you know. I didn't want to have all this and all this and all that. I'm like, no. We have – and we have big – Hey, Joe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what that sounds like? What? It sounds like our next reason – Oh. And that's attitude. Yeah. 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 You just summed it up, bro. Don't have the attitude for it. Don't do it. You exactly. Know I mean? You know, attitude is, and attitude goes a long way, Joe, because you, you got to have, and what you just said is, is funny because I was thinking, okay, what do I want to say about attitude? And what I wanted to say, the words that came to my mind about uh -huh. attitude while you were talking was, uh -huh a servant's heart. If you don't right. have a servant's heart for what you're doing, your attitude is going to be completely wrong. And, you know, in any business, any business, whether it's online, offline, whether it's crypto, whether it's selling donuts, you know, or yeah. mixing drinks or, or construction like Joe used to do or mechanic work like Jeff used to do, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you don't have a servant's heart about what you're doing. It's not going to come across correctly, and you may have that customer once, but you're not going to keep them. Yeah, it's, you know, and that's the thing, too. You can have people, it's interesting that you had mentioned fine dining earlier, because a fine dining waiter is a lot different than a normal waiter. You're actually, yes, you know, there yes. is a absolute protocol, you know, that there's a rigid structure to it, and it should be done the same everywhere. You know, it's. It, I'm not saying that being a waiter at Applebee's isn't a true profession, but it's a true profession. You know, mm -hmm. it's like learn, you really learn, you know, it's not mm -hmm. like some pizza sticks, you know, it, it's not bubbly and cute. You know I mean? It's a, you're forthright, honest, but you're there, but you're not there. You are there to serve, but your attitude can come across in a pleasing and gentle way. And that's that person that, is going to own the world. Yes. That's a, or guy or gal, you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. 500 a night home. Mm -hmm. you know, everybody else is making 150. Absolutely. You know I mean? and, and that's just one of those things. And it's, if you don't have the right attitude to put into it, you shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Because that's going to come through. Whereas people can tell if you're genuine about something, you know, if you go, Hey, how's that steak? Was it good? Cool. You know what I mean? Now, that's not how you talk in fine dining. That's how you talk at Applebee's or, or Outback. You know what I right. mean? Right. It was like, hey, we having fun. All right. You ready for another beer? Hey, all right. Another Brutus for you? I think that's what they sell. Applebee's, Brutus, and their big beers. But I don't know why I keep talking about Applebee's. But anyways. You um, want to go to Applebee's, hey, obviously. Loaded pizza. Great appetite. Two. I'll play. But... That your attitude's going to come across, and if it's if you have the attitude to do something, you shouldn't. These guys, like, okay, I, those of us that do cryptogenics and that, you know, all of us self-employed people, okay, that are that are self-employed space, and that's individual business owners, things like this. Um, that's all Entrepreneurial my mindset. Yeah, my Kim's on here. She's a hairstylist. Has been forever. Hey, okay? Kim. So, or she was earlier. I don't know if she's still on here or not. But um. You know, if you don't have, if you're not in the right mindset to go to work that day to talk to people and deal with them, it might be a good idea to go ahead and cancel that conversation because they may get to talk and say something you just don't quite agree with and, and just tell them what you really think. And that's never a good idea in business. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know, let, let's all use our big, big kid brains, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So sometimes it's better not to come to debt work if you don't have the right attitude with it you absolutely know I mean? and you know i i i i'm one of those people that if you if if we have an appointment for instance <clears throat> i'll use joe as an example because we we co-do a lot of things together and so if if joe calls me and says chris you know my mind is not in the game today i i've got a million things going on the kids are driving me crazy you know, I, I fired somebody at the bar. I'm just not going to be what you need me to be. I would, I respect that. I would much rather have that, right? 
Like I'd much rather have a, a partner that does that than they just ghost on you. That ghosting thing, that doesn't work because you don't know what's going on. You don't know if they're hurt. You don't know if they're laying in a ditch somewhere. You know, he, he does own a bar. We don't know. You know, they could have been held up last night and they're hostage in the cooler or something. I don't know. I'm just picking. But, you know, <laughs> I, I kind of went down a rabbit hole with that one just to be funny. But you see where I'm going, you know. Um, it matters. It matters. That attitude does matter. And if you don't have the right attitude for the day, then just cancel it, you know, or, or, or stop what you're doing and go reset somewhere. Go to your happy spot and see if you can reset. Cause some days, some days it's just too many things didn't go the right way. And you kind of just need to, to get your mind right. And that's oh, yeah. okay too. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, there's, there's so many things that happen in our lives that blow up you know like recently i had some stuff go on a little while you know and i had to tell chris i was like i i don't want to mess this up you know what i mean and no worries come and do the shows you know i was like but i'm not comfortable doing the company's presentation you know <laughs> this, this is one thing here mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know but i didn't want to be in a presentation and not be there you know what i mean like i can not be here, all there going. right Therefore, you know, something that's a business thing, you know, mm -hmm. and that's have the right attitude at the time because I had too much going on in my, my Correct. Mind. Correct. You know, but, you know, it's, it, it's a lot to say those things to people than just a ghost, like you said. Yeah. Even though you're just like, <clears throat> and, you know, sometimes stuff happens, guys, and everyone understands that, too, that you're like, I can't pick the phone up right now. I just, I don't even, you know, something when there's tragedy and things like that, like mm -hmm. you can't hear yourself say it out loud. Mm -mm. Because that makes it real another again. You know what I'm saying? But right. Anyways, what's next? Joe, that worked us right into our next one, which is work ethic. How cool is that? Sweet, Sweet right? Sweet. Work ethic. So you know, work ethic. You know that that's wow. That's a big one, really. That's a um, <clears throat> that's one of those ones where. Um, you, you, you're born with work ethic, I believe, like your core work ethic you're born with. And then, um, as you identify, give me a second. I know y'all are saying, what? <laughs> as you identify what your core work ethic is like, you begin to add skills and tools and, um, you know, maybe even a tool belt, a toolbox yeah. um, to your actual work ethic, because your work ethic, it plays a big part in all these other things that we've been talking about. Like without a good work ethic, you're never going to be on time. You're never going to be prepared. You're never going to do the extra. You're certainly not coachable. You probably have no passion. Your attitude sucks, right? So, you know, without the work ethic itself that's like the start of it you know that maybe we even should have did that um as number one but you know i really wanted to just let these lead one into the other and it's done very nicely so far that way and so um how do you feel about work ethic joe i don't know they're out of it at walmart so i just didn't need <laughs> couldn't buy one so you didn't need one right you buy one you know, here i was gonna buy it awesome enough. it wasn't expensive enough i didn't think i needed it Exactly. Hey, I work at way too expensive. I don't even need it. <laughs> so that kind of lets you guys know exactly where we stand on that, right? So <laughs> that goes into, um, you know, and, and, and that's enough. That's, that's genuine. That's transparent. We are who we are. You guys know what our work ethic is. He doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to polish it. Uh, the brass is not tarnished, so to speak. So I it, think if you have the work ethic conversation with someone, Mm-hmm. Honestly, they're not old enough to be on this. Right. 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 I mean, and like you didn't pay for the phone that you're watching on or the computer you're watching on or the bills <laughs> that you're not, you're, it's not, you didn't pay for the air conditioning that you're in. Right. You, that's right. It's you all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and I know a job ain't nothing but work, but hey, man, if, if you weren't just born super duper rich like me, you got to work. Right. So find something that you can do that's not going to depress you, right? Like find something that's not going to depress you and make you want to hang yourself every day and, and then work into 
work into or work up to what it is that you love and want to do. Right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, just because the job depresses you, don't exactly quit it right then. Don't go hang yourself, but start finding something else. Right, exactly. Quickly. <laughs> because, well, I heard they said on the show that if you don't love what you're doing, don't do it. So I wouldn't quit my job. No, that's not. Okay. Hey, Joe. <laughs> The but next two, no, just like, <laughs> I know, right? The next two we're actually going to combine. They're two different things, okay? But they go together, so we're going to combine them. Um, it's effort and energy, effort and energy. So, <clears throat> you know, it kind of goes without saying. They're both e words, right? <laughs> so, uh, they both have the same amount of weight. Um, and at the, at the beginning of each day, if it's an effort to find your energy, see my play on words intended there. If it's an effort to find your energy, then it may be good work ethic to let somebody know that your attitude is not in the right passion for doing what it is that you want to do. Right. So yeah. that, I mean, seriously, you guys know what energy and effort is all about. Um, I Talk about that for a second, though, really, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I hire, let's say this. I hire yes. a 25-year-old guy or gal, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, in good health, blah, blah, blah. They work, they have all kinds of energy, do all kinds of stuff, okay? That's great. The effort required to spend that energy works bound you know, mm -hmm. that much energy mm -hmm. isn't necessarily that great. Now, flip side, I have a, and I do, I have a bartender. He's, John's 62 years old. He does as much as anybody does. And he does, I know he doesn't have the energy, the 25 year olds. So mm -hmm. I see his effort as a lot greater. Yep. And the one that gets to count my money. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? That's the, you know, um, and he's a good friend too, but also it's sometimes you reward effort because you know, someone's putting out a ton of effort, it, not it maybe not getting all the same results. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and you kind of, I'm one of those people that I think you have to reward that effort. You know, the absolutely. Whole. You can have an abundance of energy and have very little effort and get nowhere. OK, so, you know, um, and that's the same off offline and online, really, because, you know, at the end of the day, when you're an entrepreneur, effort is really, really important. And, and you know, I'm kind of glad that we paused here for a second because, um, you know, I wasn't going to really talk too much about effort. And then you got to talk and I was like, you know what, there's a there's a message here we need to put out. And that is that, you know, as an entrepreneur, as an IBO. Um, as a business owner, uh, whatever, there's a lot of effort that goes into um, putting all that together, making sure that it comes off the way it's supposed to, making sure that um, you guys do the right things, right? And so the effort is really very, very important because you have to put forth, you have to motivate your own feet, okay? Yeah. So if you don't yeah. motivate your own feet, to start your day or to make those calls or to follow up with those people or to follow up with uh, what's happening in crypto. So, you know, which coins to buy, then right. you can't blame anyone else. It's your own effort that yielded the result that you got. So let's talk about that result for a minute. Is it what you want? I mean, at the end of the day, if you do a checklist and you didn't get the results that you wanted, you really don't have anyone else to blame except maybe, your effort, um, mm -hmm. you know, and we're talking about respect. If you want to talk about effort and respect, then I say, um, you know, I've had, I've been in the industry for a while. I've worked with a lot of different people. I've worked with very high energy people, very high effort people. I would have to say that if I were going to um, look for someone to be my business partner or somebody that I would put in a mentor spot, um, I would be looking for someone with a slightly higher effort than energy level. So for me, 
And it's important that you know that about yourself because you've got to pair with the people that you click with so that you can be um, uh, successful, right? So for me, effort and energy are, are almost equally as important. However, I tip the scale on the effort side because it makes more sense to me that someone realizes that they have to put a lot of effort into being uh, the best at what they do. So, and then and at the end of the day, isn't that who we want to work with? The best? Right. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to pull somebody out of the uh, peanut gallery over here. That's all right. Um, if you want to talk about effort, let's talk about Pat. Dude, he's putting a lot of effort in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drives all over. He's taking pictures mm -hmm. all over. You know, there's nothing that anyone suggested to do to build and grow a business that I haven't seen him do. You know what I mean? He's trying everything, you know, and good job. He's showing right? a high effort level. Yeah. Effort level is incredible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And no offense or nothing, but I mean, you, you, he's not 12 years, he's not 25 years old. You know no. what I mean? You know, no. and there's people that are out there that are just kind of not doing much. Right. You know, why don't I get all the results everybody else gets? Because he's not putting any damn effort or energy into it. Right. You know what I mean? Now, think about it. If you spent, how much energy would it take a younger, you know what I mean, to get out there and do, to put that much effort in? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, absolutely. Um, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with Pat. You could have a lot more energy than if you're 55 or 65. Right. You know, right. You know what I mean? um, if you guys aren't familiar with Pat, then I would say, you know, watch him friend him on facebook um watch him in the groups he's constantly mm -hmm. posting great stuff um yeah. he's photographing he is he is photo journaling if you will uh, yeah. without even without him even really knowing it um he's photo journaling his journey yeah, and journey. you know when people when people ask him well because he's gonna he's gonna hit the big the big numbers he's going to yeah. hit the big time and when people ask him at a convention or they ask him at a luncheon or whatever it is that he's at how did you get there he's going to be able to just open it up and go there you yeah. go <laughs> you know let the pictures tell the story what a great idea you know four hangers you know and yeah i'm not i'm not picking on the people either out there that that are you know have you know a full-time job you know what I mean? And then you're doing this on the side. That, that's not what I'm saying. I, don't take that the wrong way. Effort is recognized and effort gets rewarded. It truly does. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I got this silly show because I talked to, I was like, Hey Chris, how you doing? Cause I went to saying hi one day on Facebook. Yeah, pretty much. That's simple. You know what pretty I mean? Pretty much. Nobody, nobody like put Chris and I in contact. You know nope. what I mean? It was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going hey. on? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. You know, it was one of those things. And, you know, and like, we didn't know who the other person was. I didn't know forever. I, it was a long time before I knew that he was a pinnacle leader. I, I didn't know. I just thought it. Because, I mean, a conversation came up, and I was like, well, I don't know whose teams we're on or what. <laughs> oh, you're on my team. I was like, well, where? Really? <laughs> I well, am? I think I got my own team. <laughs> like, I am in your team. How do you know that? I'm a leader. I get my own. Exactly. <laughs> I said so. You said so. Same person. And Joe, that, it's the same person that invited me to join Cryptogenics. Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah. That leads us to the last one of the ten, which is perfect. Okay. What? Body language. There you go. See. Body language. And you exhibited body well, language you're... without the visual. Yeah, that's true. You did. You ex you ex you exhibited body language without the visual. I didn't know you really. Yeah. When when we first you know when we first met, I didn't know you really. You were somebody I was talking to on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. You know. Then we made a phone call. <laughs> you know. And, and then we were texting. And then the next thing you know, we're on Zooms all the time. And so your body language came through in mm -hmm. your actions and effort and energy. And right. it, 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 was very, it was very obvious. Now, most people think body language is something that they have to see with their own eyes. I right. personally would disagree with that. Because if you would put yourself just for a second 
in the shoes of a blind man or a blind woman. They right. absolutely cannot see your body language, but I guarantee you that they can tell you what your body language is like just through interacting with you. So don't be fooled. Yeah, don't, don't at all. Um, and that's the thing. And you know, that goes with your attitude that goes with all that stuff, you know, that, Hey, hi, welcome to Applebee's. My name is Joe, your server. And have you ever tried our six or <laughs> Yes. You know, doesn't Hello. that make you just want to go eat at Applebee's? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hi, I'm Joe. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Bitcoin? Doesn't that make you want to run out and buy Bitcoin? It's what's well, a digital decentralized company. <laughs> yeah. Cryptogenics is amazing. It's a game changer. <laughs> There's no life in you, bro. Wait, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> There's no life there, bro. See, I have the opposite problem. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, check this out, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. But, but we see, both I do, actually. We we really do have to rein it in at points because you know, we, yeah. are, we are definitely um, uh, exuberant. We are excited. We are passionate. We have a great attitude. We've got a lot of energy. We put forth a lot of effort. We do all of these things on this list, and that's – I'm not saying I'm not saying that to highlight respect. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we do all of these things on this list mm -hmm. and we find ourselves having conversations like, Joe, I think we need to pull it back a little bit. I think we may be over exerting just a little bit, you know, or Joe, I think we might have blown that one right out of the water. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. What... Like, it's bad, but I'll tell you what, I gave him a show. <laughs> You know, when when your wife is telling you, and she's not in your business, but your wife is telling you, hey, Joe. Oh, dude, oh, oh, uh, like, you got a fish is in the boat trying to cast out a bait. <laughs> the fish jumped in the boat, and he's still casting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe, you know what I love about that? I have to be completely honest. I was exactly like that person. So, you know, it took me a long time to realize less is more. Yeah. A long time to realize less is more. Because people will tell you what they want to know, and they'll tell you what they don't want to know. And, you know, again, body language. Let's talk about the respect of body language. You can tell by someone's body language if they're into what you're talking about or not if you just pay attention. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're sitting, like, somewhere and talking and somebody leans in, they're leaning in. You know, mm -hmm. this and this sounds kind of weird, but if it seems like they're almost flirting with you, you got them. Think about it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? And and I don't mean the way you. It's not physical. It's, it's no, no. It's art. a body language thing. Mm -hmm. art, huh. Or you can tell. You know what I mean? And if someone's listening, their their ears will peak. Their their eyes will squint. Their you can tell they're tuned in. You know what I mean? And like I practice this stuff because we do Zoom. We we do presentations together. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I'm like, you know, and, and I've heard you say this stuff. I don't know how many times. I can repeat it in my sleep. <laughs> but it's for the people watching. It's for that right. new person there that's going, hey, that guy really looks into it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And because that's the kind of role that I'm playing in that. You know. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm at it. It works. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you walk into a room, man, you strut in a little bit, you get a little strut going, man, everybody knows this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Walk in with fireworks sticking out your ears. Look, <laughs> and, and, but, you know what I mean? It, nah. I mean, just, oh, that sounds terrible, but treat everybody like you're trying to take them out. It probably work out a little bit better for you. <laughs> you Hey, you heard it first right yeah. here on Crypto Let's Talk Live, okay? Glory is in the rolling pin. <laughs> so, all right, guys and gals, if you're, if you're taking notes, if you're writing it down, if you just want to know what it is, we're going to talk about 100% respect. There were 10 things we listed off today. They were being prepared.
doing extra. What's that? We What's stole that? this too, by the way. Yeah, we being prepared, doing extra, <laughs> being coachable, passion, attitude, being on time, work ethic, effort, body language, and energy. So, <clears throat> yep, 10. So <laughs> I, they kind of uh, they kind of took a life of their own. Um, that's not in the order that they were presented that when we stole it, but yep. you know, <laughs> it's okay. Um, you know, in, 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 you know what, we're so transparent. We don't even really care. You know, yeah, we, uh, we were, we were yeah, talking, we were right. talking. <laughs> yeah. We were talking, we were on a zoom, we were sharing screen and you know, we happened to be on Facebook at that moment and something popped up and we were like, yeah, that's a good topic for today. You know, and it is a good topic because it does, it absolutely ties you in uh, offline as well as online. And it definitely, definitely speaks to everyone up here. Okay. And in here, that's where it's important too, right here. So, ladies and, yes, sir. Is that a new band or something? What's that on your shirt? <laughs> you like that, do you? You get that. <laughs> you like that, did you? I, I saw quite a few people uh, made a comment about the shirt. So thanks, everybody. I'm glad you guys like it. I, I really like it. It's very lightweight, um, and it's cool, and that's what's important. Um, hopefully, when I go out in public, uh, people will ask me just what Joe just asked me. What is that? What is KGX? And so that's the whole purpose behind it. Um, KGX, let's give some updates on KGX. KGX is is rocking and rolling. The core five have been hard, hard, hard at work. We mm -hmm. thank them continuously for everything they do. Um, I know that the languages are, are just this close, y'all, this close. We're going to have the videos in eight different languages. Um, as we need to have videos for other countries, when a leader presents itself, um, in a, another language. We'll be adding that as well. Um, I know that <clears throat> I have it on good authority that we are still forking. So cryptogenics is still forking. You got to, you got to love that. that um, <laughs> got to love that. So, you know, that's kind of where we are today. Remember y'all keep your eye on that blog. That blog is super, super important. It's the main hub of information. Um, I'm not going to lie and say that some people aren't in the loop before it hits the blog. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when it becomes official and it's time for everybody to know, that's where you're going to find out. So make sure you, you log into that blog. Make sure you stay uh, in tune with what's going on there. The company does a great job at keeping us all informed. Um, and that's really all we have for you guys and gals today. We are um, We are going to remind everybody about presentations uh, remember that we have presentations tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays at 3 p.m eastern and we have uh, presentations uh, monday through thursday at 9 p.m eastern standard time and those are located at kgxglobal.info um, if you happen to stumble on one of those on a monday or tuesday you'll probably visit joe and i and i believe on wednesdays is stephen mccullough um, also on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you'll run into Brandon Ivy and Dr. Smith. And so, um, you know, we just want everybody to know who's presenting and know that, uh, you're going to get the same information. It's the exact same information. It just may be a different influx. It may be a little bit different take. A word may be pronounced a little bit differently that makes something go off in your head that says that makes sense. And that's what we're here to do. So we love each and every one of you guys. We thank you guys for coming. Joe, close us out, buddy. I just like to close us out by saying that we do the funniest presentation. Personal thing. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. Deeds team, you guys got that thing tonight? I think it's today the 12th. We stole your thing. I mean, we just plunk stole it right in front of you. Like, we stole it like home. Brad place. don't care. Boom. <laughs> God, no, we're we're gonna give you a shout out on that and brad yeah. don't care but that was brad feeds post and we did steal it from him uh about 10 minutes before our live and yeah, you know what brad will be honored that we did that and he would have been here if he wasn't working today so shout out yeah. to brad we love you brad uh need to have you on as a guest sometime um yeah. you know everybody 
just enjoy your summer, spend time with your families, enjoy your businesses, and get out there and spread the word of what you do. Talk to everybody later. Bye, guys. Have fun.